my name is Jan, Jan Coveney, and I'm from Adelaide in South Australia. Um, an Australian who's lived in Korea for three years. And in that time, I, I learned how wonderful the Korean crafts were and the arts. And um, I was actually quite blown away by everything that I saw over there. But the thing that uh, impressed me the most, I think, was the hunchy paper. I love the beauty of the paper and the history of the paper, how it was made. And so um, I then got into Hanji Crafts and um, I've been doing it now for around about uh, 17 years. I love um, the areas like uh, Jongju, Wonju, Andong, all those that create the paper in the old traditional methods. Um, uh, but I think for a, a more holistic um, experience, I go to Insadong, where I can see everything all in one, in one area. Uh, the beautiful uh, patchworks, the beautiful embroideries, the paper art, and um, also um, artists, paper, painting artists as well. So I love the art galleries and I love uh, visiting and being inspired by different things extremely positively. I think um, my experience when I first went there was uh, that I saw the detail in everything that was being done and uh, I loved that and so I could see that the old traditions have taught the Korean people how to do that whereas we don't have quite the history of, of um, art in Australia very much uh, brought over from uh, European arts here but um, it, it just seemed to be in a different way it seemed to be losing a lot of that fine detail here in Australia and I think uh, as soon as I saw that in Korea I was um, very impressed and that's the area that I was very keen on uh, pursuing and making sure that I could do something combining the Australian and the Korean arts together. Hanji is uh, the word for Korean paper and it also means the art of making things out of the Hanji paper. Therefore, um, it's, it's moulding, in my instance, I mould the paper over objects to um, produce Work of usable pieces, articles, like for example, lamps, sets of drawers, uh, etc. And uh, I love that side of it, the 3D hanji, rather than the 2D hanji. I have been making a few, doing a few pictures, uh, but um, I think I still love making objects more so, things that can be used in the home, things that are practical. When, uh, when I was, went to Korea in, in 2000 and uh, to be honest, it, I, I just started doing hanji because I was a little bit bored. My husband was working, I wasn't working and I wanted to explore a different avenue and somebody said, why not try hanji? So, and from that point, and I needed to experiment more. I needed to, to know more about this paper or where it came from and what I could do with it. I want to express the fact that um, even though it's a Korean craft that is little known outside of Korea, that anybody can do it. Anybody is uh, able to do it from any country. I think the win. Personally, I'd like to get the word out to other people, um, English speaking people, more about Hanji and what they can do and. Um, how, how beautiful the uh, things that you can make can be. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to help other people in that regard by, uh, with my website and uh, writing a book in, about Hanji in English, etc. Because there's very little written in English at the moment. I've got a website so people can have a look. Um, if they know what the word hanji means, uh, they can search for it. And I'm finding that more and more people are searching for the word, wanting to know a little bit about this strange paper. Um, I'd just like to say, just try it.
please try it. It's a wonderful craft. It's a very relaxing craft and it's a, something that anybody can do. It's just uh, having, having those skills and, and knowing about it and knowing what you can do with the paper, etc. But uh, for anybody watching this video, I would highly recommend this, um, doing this Korean craft.